Hello, this is Jennifer Adams, Assistant Vice President for Student Affairs and Chair of the SUNY PolyCare team. We know that the decision to send a student off to college is a huge one. Um, and for those of you who are going to be the students, it can be very overwhelming to think about your new independent life living away from your parents and family. One of the ways that we hope to help you feel really great about your choice to attend SUNY Poly is to tell you about our SUNY Poly Care Team. The Care Team is a resource team that addresses challenging, disruptive, or harmful behavior and situations by providing helpful interventions that are aimed at community safety and student success. And I really want to highlight for you that phrase, challenging situations. There are a lot of things in college we really don't expect and can't plan for. And this team is here to help you get through those times in life. Our logo and motto for the SUNY Poly Care team is at Poly, you don't have to be alone. And you really never are. The, one of the great benefits of a small campus like ours is that um, no one goes unnoticed, no one slips through the cracks. And our team really works hard to make sure that all of our students have some safety nets in place to help them be successful at challenging times. Our care team exists to promote and maintain safety and health by identifying and assisting struggling students to become more connected to services. We make many referrals and some of those referrals may include mental health care or safety intervention. We prioritize privacy and discretion and we maintain communication only with appropriate offices and individuals that can help you. To help you understand the reach of the care team, it's important to know that we are not a punitive arm of SUNY Polytechnic Institute. In other words, we can't punish students. Our goal is not to sanction students. It is to help all students succeed in their academic and personal goals and to keep everyone within our community safe, um, including people we receive reports regarding and all the other people on our campus. We work with you as the reporter or the student who feels like you need some support to determine what level of concern the behavior is causing for you or others and to make appropriate supportive responses. We do sometimes make referrals to conduct when warranted, but we are not the decision makers when it comes to student conduct. Just because we are a team that works together really closely does not mean the information we receive about students can just be shared with anyone for any reason. Our records are protected under FERPA, which is the federal law that protects your educational records. And we don't share things with each other or anyone off of the team unless it is relevant to help you be successful. Um, we do sometimes refer students to counseling and facilitate medical withdrawals. We may um, provide a case manager to the student who can be a constant connection and, and referral source um, and take other actions to follow up on reports. We do have a counselor on our team, and this person is really there to tell us if they were working with a student exhibiting the behavior we were seeing, how we might help them and be supportive. The counselor is not able to tell us that they see a particular student for treatment or therapy, uh, and all of their records remain private and confidential if they're with the counselor. On occasion, a student will sign a release of information with the counselor so that myself or others on the care team can partner with their counselor to ensure that they're success and successful. And we have many um, successful outcomes from that kind of relationship. But the student always holds control over um, who their counselor speaks to and about what. We wanted to give you an idea of the things we're training our community at SUNY Poly to report to help you feel re very reassured that we would notice odd or unusual behavior and work to figure out how we can help the student be in a better place. If a community member is concerned about an individual's behavior, it doesn't necessarily mean it's threatening, but it may be alarming or something they've never seen before. And it may require help that the faculty or staff member doesn't feel quite equipped to provide. So our team will step in and help provide some of that support. We ask our faculty and staff and students to notice personality changes, changes in behavior, a sudden lack of engagement or missing of classes that didn't occur before, to notice aggression, sadness, self-harm, prevalence of eating disorders, poor hygiene that was not apparent before, 
sudden class absenteeism, performance that has dropped off and declined, or unhealthy drug or alcohol use. These are all behaviors of concern that we want to help improve, turn around, and support. We also ask our, our community to understand and report unexpected life changes. These are those hurdles and challenges I mentioned at the beginning of the presentation that we can't plan for and won't know will be part of our college experience until we get there. Uh, those may include suddenly feeling overwhelming sadness or feeling alone in a way that perhaps a student hasn't before or hasn't in a long time, a death within a family or personal life, a divorce that was not expected before coming to college or that they just may be beginning, be beginning to reconcile or think about when they get to college, feelings of uncertainty about being at SUNY Poly or students who are thinking they need a break from college, unexpected illnesses for the student or someone that they care about, or just general life changes that they didn't expect. Lastly, we train our community to report alarming behavior. Our care team does serve as the institutional threat assessment team, which is a very important team for all college and universities to have in place. Reporting alarming behaviors early and often is very important from everyone in our community. We receive reports from students, faculty, staff, and parents and family from home. We will take reports from anyone who feels like they have information about a student that could be used to help them be successful or could help prevent a dangerous situation. So we do train our, our faculty, staff, and students to notice and recognize threatening situations, behaviors, activities, words, written work, seeing the changes in a student that reflect extreme aggression, injurious behavior, suicidality, threats of violence, evidence of stalking, or aggressive acts towards a particular group. These are all things that we want to know about and prevent as early as possible. And our care team has extensive training in all of these areas. Concerns can be reported to our care team through our website, www.sunipoly.edu slash care. Our care site is already active and can be used at any time to file a report. We take reports whether they're anonymous or with a name. Having a name certainly helps, but is not required. Um, during the academic year, parents and students, their families can contact a counselor. It will be a confidential report, not necessarily referred to the care team, but is a way for someone to seek advice from a counselor at SUNY Poly. You can also call me or send an email and I will help write a report with you. When we receive reports, I review them the same day uh, and then I do some background work to see what I might know about the student before I connect with my team. We also look for other data points on the student to see if they're an athlete, how they've been doing academically and if they live on campus. I may call other individuals and resources to gain more information, again, keeping in mind the privacy of the student um, and being as discreet as possible. And then I'll do an initial assessment on our risk rubric to see if the student is an immediate case. Then I get my team together and we'll talk about the case a bit and determine how we can respond to be the most helpful to the student. And I will follow up with the person who makes the report. At SUNY Poly, your student never has to be alone, and you as the student are never alone. We are always here to help and to be a resource. I hope our care team helps you feel like it is just one more way that SUNY Poly is the right choice for you. Thank you.